Uh, trying to think. It's Tuesday and it's the last day of the, of the first nine weeks for the school oh, system. Oh, that's, so. right, that's right. Well, time's flown by. That's right. So all the, all the kids are panicking at this point. <laughs> I don't know if they're panicking. Uh, I think they're looking forward to a couple of days off from school Thursday well, and Friday. And it's always a good way, too. You need to set, set the tone for the year and, and see how you're doing. And, and that's really what the, the midterm type of gradings are, is a way for you to see where you're going. Yeah, I always encourage parents. This is a time where, you know, the reason we have report cards is so they can check up on the students' progress. And, this is an opportunity to check their Skyward. You know, you can look on Skyward, see how your students are doing at any time. And uh, but you can also set up a time to meet with the teachers and talk about your child's progress. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, uh, we have uh, lots of things going on in the schools. You know, fall is the kind of the startup time. We've got the football games going on now. And, and fall finally coming in the air a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Although if you went by last night's temperature, not so much. We have um, multiple bus loads of agriculture kids going to Moultrie, right. Georgia to the Ag Expo. Always so a big event. Yeah. It is the largest one in America, second largest one in the world. And it's just, uh, they will see three quarter million dollar combines. Wow. wow. Uh, wow. John Deere International Harvester and all those folks making what they, you know, combines for cotton, for corn. and. Limousine kind of, of things, but, uh, One of my favorite things is watching the herd dog competition. National, oh. the southeastern herd dog competition to go to the nationals uh, happens right there during that thing, and I love to watch that. But just uh, and a lot of kids that are in FFA that don't have a clue what goes on outside of what our little world of agriculture is mm -hmm. and uh, how it works and all that stuff. But just uh, all the universities are representative too. and. Uh, any that teach any agriculture at all are there and they're recruiting kids to come to their university. And matter of fact, we have multiple kids that uh, have gone from Palatka this year, more than I can ever remember. I think we have nine kids from Putnam County that are Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College in Tipton. And a lot of that recruiting happened right there. Well, and I'm glad you said that, George, because, you know, agriculture is not a forgotten trade. It's actually, there's a lot of careers in agriculture, yes. a lot of uh, technical careers and so again that's one focus of our school system is trying to promote careers and you know especially those high demand high pay jobs and it's good these kids are going to see some other aspects of ag yes. just to get some ideas on hey you know I can have a career in ag okay. and, um, so I think it's a great experience I do want to point out too um, yeah. you know I don't want to I'd be remiss in saying that we are very concerned about our brothers over in the panhandle and uh, the devastation that's happened there, especially with our school districts. You know, there are many schools that have been impacted. I don't know if you saw on the news, there was actually, you know, one school where the entire gym was decimated. But uh, I just want to point out that our district is very, you know, very much concerned about what's going on. And we've actually are in the process of setting up a, an account if anybody wants to make a contribution that would go towards school districts, uh, helping them recover. Uh, we're setting up a GoFundMe account on our website and our Facebook page. Uh -huh. And this is through the Superintendent's <clears throat> Association, so it's definitely a reliable source. But it's not set up there currently. Uh, we're in the process of doing that, but just keep checking back. And it's just a way that you can give back. And, and I do want to point out, we've had a number of, of our employees, as well as citizens who live here in Putnam County, who have relatives or friends who live out there that have gone have already been out there trying to help their family, so just want to remember those people and anything we can do to reach out. No, let's definitely do it. I know That's there fun. is a group uh, over in East Palatka, Watson Realty is collecting all <clears throat> sorts of the non-perishable food items and water and uh, cleaning supplies, things like that. They're going to send over a whole uh, truckload. Uh, in a couple weeks here. We got se seven counties, those schools were mm -hmm. closed down out there in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Seven counties totally yeah. shut down. And I'm not sure what county he was from, a spokesperson, uh, I'm not sure which one. He said it would be at least 30 days, at least 30 days before they could figure something out. And uh, what they'd be doing, and the kids would have to count on going to school probably through the summer. Mm -hmm. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah. Well, we do have a, a, a student group at Palatka High School, the National Honor Society and the Beta Club, I was just told last night, are raising funds and collecting supplies to send out there. So kudos to those students who, you know, trying to, trying to give back.
because the, the boy they need a lot of help. Yeah. That is just that's a and you know I, I, I tell people that all that hurricane had to do was wobble a couple degrees to the east and yeah. it, it could have been us very easily. Yes. Yes. So we Absolutely. are so blessed and so fortunate, but it's our it's our obligation to make sure we reach out to our fellow Floridians and and people in Georgia, whoever's been affected, and, and do the best we can to help out. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Rick, for joining us this morning. We appreciate you stopping by. Anything else we need to know about well, the school board have, meeting? Well, we do have a school board meeting today at 3.30, and we're going to have a short presentation on elementary robotics. Oh, elementary so we, robotics. So our kids, you know, we talk about robotics and, you know, high-tech stuff in the high schools, but it's kind of neat that our youngest students are actually getting involved in robotics. So tune in to that. You can go to our uh, website and link to a YouTube or the live broadcast mm -hmm. of our meeting today if you can't make it. Uh, if you're an employee, we are going to be talking about insurance, group health insurance. Uh, there's a workshop at 2 with the board and then the board will uh, also have an item on the agenda talking about insurance today. So tune in and, or come out to the meeting if you want to make a comment. You know, it's definitely an opportunity for employees to be heard. And that's going to be at the school board office at what time? 3.30 today at the school board office. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, George and Mary. Always good to be here. Right. And I hope Susan feels well.